So today we're looking at the RAND function in Microsoft Excel. So the RAND function allows you to automatically randomize a number that is both greater than zero and less than one. This is useful in data analysis, simulations, and decision making as it allows you to generate some simulated or statistical data. So we're going to show you some example use cases here in a moment, but first of all, let's show you the basic function, which you do by simply typing equals and then rand and then the two parentheses and close. You don't need any parameters. And so we have our automatically generated decimal here. As you notice, it is greater than zero and less than one. So we can use a simple round function to turn this into a zero or one as round just takes everything that is greater than 0.5 and turns it into one and anything that is less than turns it into a zero. Type a couple times or apparently just once. Now we have less than 0.5 and so it turns into a zero. And so this allows us to turn a simple rand into a zero or one toggle, which you can use in many different ways, such as in this example where we take the rand function, we apply our round to generate a zero or one, and then turn this into a heads or tails function. So you can also use this to randomize data in this kind of example. If we change this to a VLOOKUP, and now we can VLOOKUP our result here in our table and return the result of that VLOOKUP. And so now if we generate our test example here, And there we go. Took a couple tries to get our tails, but there is our tails. And so this is using a combo of a round, rand, and a VLOOKUP function. And so you can use this on more than just a zero and one with the heads of tails, as we're next going to show you how to generate larger numbers. So what you can do as a general rule is you can generate anything between zero and a number by using a round function and then timesing that rand by the upper bounds. So for example, in this case, 10. And so if we just did the rand times 10, it's never gonna result in the upper bound of 10, but because we're doing this round, it's gonna allow a 0.9 to turn into a 10. And so as a bigger number here, we can just add more digits and so if we do the rand times 10,000, then it'll generate a number between zero and 10,000. And finally, in this number generation, we can look at generating a particular range. So in this example, from 10 to 50 by using a round function, and then we're using a reference to our rand. And so you can use just rand directly inside the round function, just like this, if you like and then you times the upper bound minus the lower bound plus the lower bound. And so this allows you to generate a number that was within that range. So finally, let's look at some generating some random data here. And so we're gonna use a bound like this in our sales data. So let me go ahead and copy this. And then in our sample sales here, we can generate some random data for our sales by specifying an upper bound. So maybe we'll do 150,000. And then our lower bound will be 65,000. And then we'll do plus 65,000 to get our range. So I need to add one more zero to make it 150,000, not 15. So 150,000 minus 65,000 plus 65,000 will generate numbers between 65 and 150. So just like that. And then I can copy this formula and paste it here. And now we have our generated numbers here. We can format as a currency if we like here. And see now our generated sales numbers for these months. So you can make this more sophisticated, for example, and using this as a correlation to perhaps some projected numbers to get some randomization into your projections or something like that. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope that helps you to see how you can use RAND in your own projects to help you both generate some data and also add some randomization to get the results that you need. Make sure to check out Coefficient to help streamline and add a lot of functionality to your Microsoft Excel projects. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.